Hey beautiful YouTubers, it's Tess, and I have a new baby to show you guys! Yay! So she's the Jill Kit by Adri Stoat, and I'm just gonna change her into what I took her out in today. Um, Alright, I'm gonna change her from what I took her out in today to her pajamas. And, um, I... Should I reveal her name? I'm pretty set on her name being Bay Willow. Bay, B-A-Y. Um, I, I first heard that on the show Switched at Birth. And I've just always liked it because it reminds me of my name, one syllable, elegant, and that kind of thing. But here she is. She's a wide open eyed baby. And um, she has blue eyes. You probably can't see them. But she's got blue eyes. And I've painted really fine blonde eyebrows, which you will not be able to see. It's hard enough to pick up on camera. But, um, like on an HD camera. But, uh,. I'm leaving them like that for a while and I will kind of go over them with whatever what other, whatever colors will match the hair that I choose for her. I just know that she's going to be a blondie. Yeah, so this is Bay Willow. Um, and then she's wearing these little... Um, she's not weighted yet. Did I say that already? I can't remember. That's why she's so easy to pick up. She's wearing these little slippers. And she's kind of got like a princess theme going on. If you heard that, that was my stomach making weird noises. Um, she's got these little crowns. I keep thinking I need to support the head, but I really don't. Because she's unweighted. Let's take this little hat off. She's bald right now, but she will probably be rooted. And she's actually a little more on the golden side than most of my dolls, but I really love how it turned out. It's perfect goldenness. I really like um, kind of golden babies with blonde hair. I love really fair, really super like pale fair babies with dark hair and golden babies with blonde hair. This half torso does make her quite long, I've noticed. She looks so real. And the mobility in her legs will be better once she's weighted, because now, right now, the vinyl just kind of bends. Like, I can easily bend her leg like that. But, um, should be easier when she's weighted. I think I'm going to do an extra matte varnish on the joints, because I've heard that helps. Take these little slippies off. I took her out today, and I got so many great reactions. And even I was kind of, um... I took her sh I took her sock off and I just for I forgot I showed the bottom of her foot and it looks when I took the sock off I was like oh I forgot that I mean or I hadn't seen it in um natural lighting I guess I was like oh that actually looks pretty good <laughs> well she's so pretty I'll do this in a way so that you guys can see the half torso see she's very long and that's because the half torso, not necessarily the half torso lengthening her, but the fact that the diaper kind of sits a little weird. Not weird. It's hard to explain. See, like, she's almost got not quite three-fourth limbs. Like, it works, but at the same time, this kind of makes for an awkward angle. I don't know. Awkward angle for the diaper. But she does have little girl bits, and she does have a little baby booty. This is my first time really getting a good look at it put together for some reason. I put her right in clothes, so I'm kind of like, hmm. Alright, let's take this off. And again, she's uh, the Jill Kit by Adri Stoat, and this is... Um, I believe these are limbs, limb number 15, but these are the ones that um, go with the torso. I'm not sure if you can order a different set of limbs to go with the torso. Adri Stoat just has the torso available. All, a lot of her kits are mix and match. There's like the 18 to 19 inch kits. There's like Sammy and Jill. Um, I think Dominic is one of them. I want to say there's a Cameron. Nikki baby. So here's her without clothes. Now let me give you a better idea. See, like, without the diaper, these move. 
pretty nicely. I like it best kind of down. They are a little awkward for seated positions, I will say, because it's not like with a full limb baby where you can actually, like a full limb jointed baby like the uh, Esme kit. She could sit pretty realistically, but um, with this she's kind of weird, like, like she'll sit like that. Sometimes it kind of gets like that, which is a little weird. But that's okay. She's most of the time covered in a blanket anyway. But I just wanted that belly feel. And the belly button does seem a little bit low to me, personally. Alright, where's her clothes? And she's going to be changed into another princess outfit. This is a little princess sleeper that I just picked up today. Oh, why did I, I gotta put her diaper back on. So yeah, if you're looking for a half torso, it is pretty cool, and they are still pretty cuddly. And the Adri Stewart torsos in particular are fairly nice. They're definitely nice and detailed. And they fit nicely with the limbs. They're just, they're, they're not like cloth bodies, so ex you would expect a torso that feels like just like a cloth body baby in flexibility and in cuddliness, it's just not going to happen. So there's kind of a middle ground. And I really like the feeling. I know I've said this before, but I really like the feeling of reaching over and just like rubbing the little belly and you can feel the belly button. And I just, that was something with Aunt Olivia that I really liked. <sighs> I got to stop calling her Aunt Olivia because I want to use that name again someday. She's just the Esme kit. And this... Sleeper has a matching hat and little matching booties. Mm -hmm. I stopped by my the daycare that I used to work at today. I got some serious baby therapy with a few of the babies. Or actually, just one of the babies, but um, with all, all the kids, I could hang out with them a little bit. Mm -hmm. I was out pretty much all day today. Just kind of, I was out with her, and, well, that was the main reason that I wanted to go out. And then I was checking in with one of my friends. I was like, hey, you want to do a game night? And he was like, I'll let you know. And I was just kind of waiting around, finding things to do. And he was just like, yeah, tonight's not good. And I was just like, alrighty then, I'll head home. I was actually kind of tired anyway. I was like falling asleep at Panera around 6. E. Get your fingers in there. She's got like her hand, this hand in particular is open quite wide. So I try to be really careful because um, Lyra has a really open hand too. And I know that open hands are most likely to keep rubbing those fingers. They could get the paint smudged off them over time. Oh, this is going to be a nice fit. I was saying she's definitely a pink baby. Little bay. The only thing I don't like about the name bay is I hate the term bay, like B-A-E. Anybody who uses that, like, you automatically lose cool points in my book. <laughs> Oh, and I don't even care about the people who are like, it means poop. Like, obviously, yes, it's used in a modern day. People understand when you say, I need to go home to my bay, but it's still just like, oh. that seems so teenage romance to me. Like what a 13 year old would call their boyfriend. I don't know. Not that there's anything wrong with having a boyfriend at 13 or anything. Oh, and these are the little booties. I'm never sure whether I should put these over the sleeper feet or I mean over the elastic at the bottom of the feet or under they tend to look better over I guess who knows are you reaching for the camera silly girl her middle name Willow was also kind of in the top pick for names this is not gonna happen yeah, there's no way I'm folding that over that big hand or not a big hand just a very open hand 
She has the most precious little hands. And see, like, they match mine. She's so pretty! Alright, where's her hat? Oh, I didn't notice it has a bow. It's cute. Perfect fit. Oh my goodness. And we have a passy. I shouldn't have, like, when I magnify the mouth, I magnify it using, like, I'll put the passy on that they're probably going to use the most. I probably shouldn't have <clears throat> used this one because this, like, set her magnet a little on the low side, but oh well. I guess this will just be the only type of pacifier she can use. And then here is Bale the Bear, who's kind of, kind of belongs to all of my babies, but a few of them like him more than others. Like I like to pose Davini. I like to think Davini's the baby who likes to cuddle with things. And there she is. Mm. Oh, my hair has flattened out in the time that in this video. Normally I kind of do like a eesh. But yes, there is Bay. Bay Willow. I keep wanting to say Bay something else. I don't know. I keep getting other middle names in mind. Maybe it'll stick. Maybe it won't. It's not official. It only feels official when I do the hashtag on Instagram. And I'm like, oh, I gotta stick with this. So, last look at Miss Bay. Here she is. I say that so much in a video. Love you guys. Bye.